How special was it to share a piece of artwork like this with the public here in Sarasota? And when you see something like this, you will never forget it. Yes, definitely. First of all, it's very rare to have artifacts uh, thousands of years old inside an art gallery. They're mainly seen at museums. So just the fact of having the artifact at the gallery paired up with amazing talent from Sarasota and Tampa Bay area and the contemporary work that we've all created for the show, it's just simply phenomenal. Whoever comes into the show will clearly have an amazing experience, will take a lot out of the show, and will never forget it. Now there's uh, some other work here. Can you tell us about this work over here? So uh, I created a series, Vitality series. It's 17 pieces in total for the show. This one in particular is the main one. It's called She is Life. It's a self-portrait. So I wanted to give the two-dimensional female that we were seeing at the sarcophagus, I wanted to give her volume give her life and uh, you can see the Ankh as one of the symbols of the painting which you can see it all over the sarcophagus which essentially is the key to life and then women are also the key to life. In closing uh, today will be a special day and then tomorrow will be really nice and then we get into the first through the 17th and people have an opportunity to come by and kind of kind of get a look at some of the pieces. Just talk a little bit about the satisfaction you get to be a part of something special like this. Well, first of all, I am beyond grateful to Jackie Cutrone and Halo Arts Project for the opportunity um, to have this exhibit inside my gallery. That on its own, it's an amazing opportunity to have. And then sharing the exhibit with 15 other artists and giving them the opportunity to showcase their talents. Uh, it's just phenomenal. Like I said, the contribution to the arts community in Sarasota, being part of that is very important. So far, what's your favorite piece in here? I know they're all phenomenal, but if you have one that kind of stands out, I don't know if you do, but if you do, which one is it? And could you share that with us? That's a tough one. I think every artist in here did a phenomenal job, did the research, connected with the artifact. Uh, I love my piece, for example, She is Life and the meaning behind the piece. Then you have, we have Pamela Olin's sculpture, which is an interactive sculpture and you can spin and it's inspired by the four-headed Janus. We, we have uh, Halo Arts Project's founder's work here. We have Lisa Di Franza who has, it's also an interactive one, there's uh, headphones for an audio. Mitch Johnson, Jana Millstone, I mean, all of the pieces are, all of the pieces are just amazing. Grace Howell has two pieces on the show. I mean, all of them, they did a phenomenal job. Um, I can't say I have a favorite. <laughs> That's one of those questions that <laughs> it's hard. They're all my favorites.